Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're back in all the mods, and today we are hopefully going to be getting in to this mod right here, as we need to try and get one of the last bosses for this actual mod pack. So let's start by obviously claiming this reward, because I did actually craft this book. It's pretty easy, it's just a load of iron tools and a book. So now we have that, we need to, okay, we can just complete that. What about this? We, while holding C, your spell book, you can press C to open up the spell creations page. Okay, so we can just claim that as well. We would also need to upgrade the book, which I think we can do. What is this called? Uh, okay, let's type that in here. So there we go. We need the one with the two lines on the side and then also the other one. So let's quickly just get this one first. We need two blaze rods. Uh, I don't actually think we have two blaze rods. Can we craft any in any way? We're now back. So let's quickly just go ahead and craft this. There we go. It's nothing too major. I think the blaze rods was probably the major thing. And then this one is a bit harder because it requires this thing right here which don't seem like it can actually be crafted okay we actually need the boss to obtain this obtained by defeating the wild chimera i think that's how you say that uh, so that's we can't actually make this until we have summoned that boss so this if we actually press c while holding it no z is zoom so I'm guessing it's probably conflicted. So it is this I need, I think, to summon the boss, which we need a actual one of these. This is what I made. I don't know what I've done with it, though. I could have lost it. So then if we quickly just go back, it's now a source gem block, which we can actually make. So let's do that. And then finally, where's it gone? It's down here. We need one more gold, which we can do like so. There we go. So let's now make this. And then I think you actually need to get all of the wilden drops, which I don't think we have. Yeah, we only have the horn. So I think if I actually place this down and then click that onto it, awaiting activation. How do I activate it? Yes, here we go. It's actually spawning them. So I can now kill them and get all their drops. And then obviously what I think I need to do eventually this might have been a bit bad to do in the base because of the actual wolves that it spawns. Okay, so we now have, I, if I quickly just fly, it does it run out? Has it run out or is it still going to summon more? Uh, it seems to have run out. So what did we get? We got the actual horn, the wing. I think that's everything. If I quickly just type in here, Wilden. Okay, no, we are missing the spike. So I think I actually need to craft another one of them and get some more. I don't want to use that. Can we do this recipe? I need a iron sword and a bow. Yes, here we go. Let's now throw that into there again and click on it. And that should spawn more. We literally just need the, the uh, horn. Okay, is that your what drops the horn? Yes, there we go. We have got everything we need, I think. So what we need to do is just take out all of these again until it deactivates, which shouldn't actually be too long. There we go. It's deactivated. So now what I think I need to do is craft one more of these. Let's just do it this one again. What are we missing? We are missing the emerald block, which I can craft. We are missing the lapis block. There we go. And then we are also missing the iron sword, which I can just grab. Uh, we don't actually have any left, so let's quickly just grab one of them. And also bow. Do we have any more bows? We do. Because I don't want to mess up the crafting within that interface, I think we are just going to craft the iron sword right here. And then we can just throw it in, otherwise it would have removed everything. So there we go. That is another one of them. If I now throw or click this on there and I think throw this in there. Yes. Also, I think we need to throw that in there. And I also think we need to throw that in there. And I think now if I activate it, it should spawn the boss. If I've done it correctly, I could have done it wrong though. I am just literally using a tutorial. Yes. Okay. It summoned the boss. So let's now quickly just get rid of you. And there we go. Are you dead? No, why are you healing? Please don't say you destroy things. 
if you destroy things, then that is actually going to suck because I'll bet. Oh no, you're dead. You was actually pretty weak. You're okay. And now there's some dogs. Let's now pick up this. Okay, we now have the actual thing that we got from that. And that should have also been a quest complete, I think. If I go to, yes, bounty boards down here, we have now completed that quest. So it is now only the Elder Guardian left to kill. We did also complete a quest related to, okay, here. And this actually talks about bigger reactors, which we have already actually done. I just obviously already have it placed down. So this is kind of something that I'll probably just need to break it all to kind of achieve it again. So we'll leave that for now. Let's also throw all that in there. And it is literally just a fact of farming all this. Is there a way to farm the ingots? It don't seem... Oh, there's seeds. Wait, there's solium seeds. Okay, so we can make some of them. Let's try make... Okay, we can make three. Is there soul seeds, though? No, there is only actual uh, soul, solium seeds. How can I plant this? If I click on it like that... What can this be planted on, or don't it say? Uh, it don't actually tell me what it can be planted on. So I'm just going to guess either something soul, maybe a soul stone, or maybe even just, let's just grab dirt. I'm not too sure. Let's now head to this dimension, and let's throw them in the actual Britannia pots, because as you can see right here, we have got a lot of things growing. As you can see at the front here, we have got, okay, these are actually maxed out. We are going to need to try and automate some uh, upgrades for these. Maybe that's something we also work on. There's 2,000 of the azalea bushes already. There's quite a lot of logs, maxed uh, oak and spruce. There's, okay, maxed wheat as well. Almost maxed glowstone. We also have a lot of wither roses. And over here, as you can see, it's just a load of random stuff. So if I quickly, do we have, what are these? uh diamond seeds and it has diamond essence okay i didn't actually know that i got them we are going to need to extend these storage drawers i think because we've run out of obviously space for them maybe i'll have to move them forward by a block and then add more going up let's now quickly just make some gold seeds because gold is now something we are quite low on i could in theory go into the nether and make the actual uh, pickling farm that I started work. I just think farming them with seeds is probably going to be way more efficient. So there we go. They look like the honey seeds. We won't question it though. So let's now head back into this dimension. And I think we're now going to start ripping out all of these in the floor first. So let's quickly just do that. There we go. And let's now just replace this with dirt. There we go. We can now place down these again. Just because it's a little bit of light for the actual machines. And now I'm pretty sure if I break all these that they should be good. They shouldn't actually change. No, it don't seem like they do. So let's quickly just open up our inventory and maybe do three at a time. So then we don't get confused on what's what. Uh, let's throw that into there. I then need that singular one right there. That should, yep, that's our wheat. Now, I need to break them from the side or the top. Otherwise, the items pop out, which is kind of annoying. So, let's now do them three. Then, there we go. That's the next three, although it has put the seven. Although, I don't want them quite yet. So, the next thing we actually need to do, I want to know what is the difference between these. If I put that there, okay, that's four. So it's these ones we need. If I quickly just break that and throw them into our backpack because we don't really want them. And then if I quickly just destroy that again and I need to put these all the way along the top right here. We don't have enough to fill the whole thing as I think this is 16 blocks long because it's a chunk. So we'll have to get some more. But that should be enough for now to at least just obviously start filling the thing. And then with the wrench, I just need to do that because I don't want that connected to the pots. There we go. I now just need to go through and change all of these so they are not connected to the pots. There we go. So that should now start filling these up. It is going to start filling them up with items that already have actual storage, especially the ones that are full. So I think the next thing to do 
is go through and start throwing in these so let's just click uh let's actually only do the ones that are full for now so for example this one don't need one just yet uh that one does that one does uh the oak and spruce do so let's click one on that that one does uh that does as well so do them two and that one and then that one is almost full now the actual spruce we need to take out of here because that shouldn't be in there neither should it be in that one i need to okay let's quickly just throw these away so i have some inventory space there we go i now need this locking tool to lock all of these and then we'll open them as the items that need to go in there go in there so let's also throw these into there how much do we have storage in this one now Sixteen thousand. okay that is probably going to be enough i think we now need to make the void upgrade how expensive is that okay it's just a load of obsidian surrounded by a mangrove draw i think throwing a void upgrade them on them uh maybe can you throw two of the same so if i throw that in there it does it then upgrades it to 131,000. i think maybe two coppers is definitely enough on all of them and then once we get like 131,000 of the stacks i really don't think we need any more than that so i really think that once we reach that we can then throw a void upgrade in there to start voiding everything we need to find out what is duplicated up here that don't need to be up here for example the actual carrots shouldn't be up here so if i quickly just unlock that grab the last carrot out and unlock that sticks have gone in there sticks i don't think have duplicated although i could be wrong let's quickly just throw all them carrots in there apparently i already made gold seeds somewhere along the line so now what is in here uh, that don't have a draw berries so it's just a diamond and gold really i think everything else i guess i could just quickly go through and see if anything has like backup i guess if it has a backup in it then it hasn't got a storage drawer and it seems like everything is emptying perfectly fine what is that that's dirt seeds yeah it seems like everything else is doing good empty wise now we are back i can now start just placing all of these down the only thing is i do need to click on them like that so they are output pipes and that is the most annoying thing because sometimes you can miss them and it's just like really annoying so i guess let's just do one line at a time to make sure we don't miss any and then we can go back through and just click them all nope we don't want to get rid of it we just want it to be a extraction pipe even with them 60 we are still or over a stack we are still not quite there to being finished so what i actually think we need to do next is i think we now need to start filling some of these the so ones like here where there's only the one this is actual proper gill. so let's quickly just see do i have any dirt in here we have some dirt actual essence which i'm pretty sure we can craft into dirt uh where's the crafting table gone i think i removed that but i can quickly just grab one singular oak log to make a crafting table and then throw that crafting table maybe right about there now how do we craft it is it four like that or is it eight like that oh uh, that's nine not eight no it is eight like so so let's now just craft a load of dirt because we now just need to start filling these so we need some wither roses let's quickly just grab some of them a stack should definitely be enough not two stacks uh let's then also grab some propagules which there's 30 in a system we only need i think about eight so we now need some more soul sand the actual uh, berries are done same with the carrots the wheat is also done same with the exalia what is this line right here birch okay let's grab them birch saplings that are stuck in the system and we can actually use them as our source of saplings to complete the birch line and then i can put them over in the system so the saplings start emptying out as well so there we go that's now that done and i can throw the birch saplings in there so they should now start filtering in the next thing that i can see that isn't done 
is what is this iron so we need some iron seeds which i have three of and two of that should now actually get the iron line done i think so let's now see uh what is this this is infurium do we have eight of these that's two four six eight so we need one more iron seed we need two more glowstone seeds but we also need the soil so i'll have to go back to the base for them spruce and oak is done it's now just the actual mangrove so let's quickly start throwing some of these into here and see i have noticed we haven't been getting any mangrove roots so i'm guessing you can't get mangrove roots from these inside the actual botania pots let's quickly just check you can i just made this common black hole tank and i'm hoping that should be better than the dimensional tank so what i quickly want to do is i want to break this i don't know if that's going to lose all the honey if it does i'm not too bothered about it so yeah as you can see that now has xp in it so i think you just put like a bucket here or something and that empties it so let's now quickly just add another pipe to there and we want that to be enter as well so this one is filling up with honey this one is filled up with xp i think yeah so if i now actually just throw that there and throw that pipe on there and do that that yeah that's now emptying into this one which is good so once that's actually finished i can then break this tank again and there we go so now it should all be in this tank which is actually almost full surprisingly and then now this should be able to actually start processing again which as you can see it's actually doing we have some vibranium we also have a lot of this wax which i don't actually think there's anything we can do we can make candles or wax blocks it can also be smelted i have now slowly just been crafting up a load of seeds as you can see we have some deep slate wood stone dye and air and i'm just gonna start crafting up a lot of them as you can see we have them all right here because that is also completing some quests from this page uh, yeah as you can see the air seeds it, there's no reward so it instantly claims them anyway i'm gonna sit here now and wait for that bee to come out once it does i will breed them to get the unobtainium bee but uh, i have actually run out of time for this video so that is where i'm gonna end it if you did enjoy leave a like and subscribe and i guess i'll see you guys in another video very soon thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye